that members of society, all of us, we are responsible for this. Oh, I don't fast pause. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're having a follow-up conversation with Amos and his son, and we were talking about wealthy men. Mm. And he said, people see us out there, mm. and they think. He says that you see, just because people think that we are rich people, wealthy, rich, mm. they think that we don't have our own problems, our own pains, our own pains. Mm. And that is why I'm looking forward to hosting Amos Wakesa on, on on this conversation mm. uh, to talk about, you know, the pain mm. of success. Mm. Because people think that success is equals to minus pain. No. <laughs> <laughs> you get because our our next uh, series is going to be about work. Yes, right. The so, wallet. The wallet. Yeah. So, so I'm saying this to say that uh, we, as solid jammers, have committed ourselves mm. to recognize that men are struggling, mm. that men are in pain, mm. and not stop on recognition. Mm. About do something about reconciliation, mm. you know. Mm. Do something about rehabilitation. Mm. Do something about reconstruction, mm. you know, and do something about recalibration. You know, I, I interrupted you earlier on because I wanted to bring in this point mm. because if we're talking to the society, members of the society, mm. as an individual, I think we have some some parts to play. Strange. Like remember. I told you about Robert Burale when people are, are trying to... Well, when you go to a thread and you see people are attacking a particular person, whether it's true or it's false, you need to provide an alternative voice. Yes. And the alternative voice is just questions. For example, me, I asked, I asked those guys, uh, where did that happen? How okay. sure are we... Uh, you interrupt the... The the, the 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 vitriol interrupt interject redirect yes. especially if you have something to say see, it's like coming to a, a place where you see people clobbering someone and then you have no idea what that person did you pick a stone and you clobber them also so that that takes me back to the Jonathan principle that governs our relationships here at at, at um, Jonathan and David Jonathan and David yeah so we see that the first time that Jonathan met David. The first thing he did was unrobe. Yeah. Became vulnerable. Yeah. And then in the continuation of that conversation, it turns out that Jonathan's father wanted to kill to kill David while Jonathan was away. And mm. then it comes into Jonathan's ears. Because he knew the father knew Jonathan is protecting this guy. Then Jonathan comes and asks the father, what's up? Why do you want to kill this guy? Do you know he has been good for you? He has mm. been good to you? Mm. Why? Like, why are you doing this thing? Mm. Mm. He's doing what? He's interjecting. He's interrupting. Mm. 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 And then he goes on ahead now to, to protect him. Actually, to share with David and tell him that, hey, guess what? Your life is in danger. Like, I've tried to talk for you. Yeah. But actually, it's yeah. better you 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 get, you get out out of here. So, you're, so you're I dead. think this is a proper this is a proper approach to help a struggling brother. Yeah. First of all, intervene. Mm. Because people, oh, it's amazing how social media advertises ignorance of people. <laughs> people can be on social media clueless and passionately clueless. advertise yeah. mm. their ignorance. Mm. And I'm like. How, how did you come to this conclusion? Mm. I normally you, ask you people. You are there in your depressed dark room with yeah. with, with, with a 100 shillings bundle <laughs> and you are here <laughs> shouting yeah. at a move. How did yeah. we come to this place yeah. that we are shooting down our warriors, that we are trampling on our fathers, that the people who we depend on yeah. to, to even measure ourselves at any point in anything, and we even, are trampling. Even if those guys are not our brothers, are not even our uncles or our fathers, if they are not even a movement, they are our brothers, flesh and blood, men of like passions just like us. It doesn't make sense for you to bring down a fellow man. And by the way, let's just qualify this. That man that you're trying to shoot down on social media and so on and so forth, probably he is wrong. Hmm. But is that the right thing to do? You to... Know, you know, to ridicule, to bring them down and, and so on. Another person, I don't know, it's strange, but when I go on Twitter and I find people that are being bashed, mm. we become friends. With those guys who are being bashed? Yeah. Yeah. 
one one of those up is is Semakade. Mm. Isaac Semakade. Mm. I saw the guy I saw the heat was taking. Mm. I'm like, no, this guy is onto something. Mm. And I reached out to him. Mm. And he's coming for hats and shorts. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And for me this is our purpose to be my in my life. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. I come, I assess someone who is in need of grace. Mm. And I give the grace. Mm. And then we'll discuss other things after mm, mm. how hard is that that is all mm. that is expected of a solid jama mm. because you know what i like to think is that a time will come when the pain will be forgotten mm. when the rain will stop mm. and these people will remember mm. who cared yeah and who didn't yeah let it not be found that you were solid jama yeah he didn't care yeah because that's what jesus is also going to how he's going to measure he's mm. going to say i i i was naked mm. you didn't dress me mm. i was hungry you didn't feed me mm. i was sick you didn't visit mm. now these are physical things mm. which represent also mm. a spiritual situation mm. now when someone is being bashed mm. on twitter they are being undressed mm. Mm. As someone who is naked mm. as a solid jama how do you come in mm. number one if someone has lost their job um, uh, and they are hungry what do you do mm. you get someone is disillusioned out there uh, because now america is strange you can be here to done your nothing to of course so if can you west god forbid found himself homeless tomorrow How many people whose lives have been touched by his music yeah are going to get together and say here is one I can't afford to see you stay on the ground here is 100 here is 10 dollars here is 1 dollar yeah will they do a crowd a crowd sourcing crowd crowdfunding mm. to get Kanye West back on his feet mm. instead uh, people have the propensity of pulling him even further down saying you know you are the guy who was up there feel it feel it but that's not the way of a that's solid not the way of a solid jama yeah. and so we're calling for society even as we come to a close of this episode today we're calling for society to be vigilant to be gracious to people men both men and, and women to give grace because you've got no clue what someone is going through they might be wrong yes but you've got no clue you've no business pulling up someone let's use a higher road and the higher road is actually to lift someone up cover people's nakedness uh, so so to speak understand them give them a shoulder to lean on give them an ear affirm them reach out to them and be a brother's keeper and on that note i and on behalf of the solid jamas would like to join uganda in commiserating and remembering the fallen honorable speaker right honorable jacob olanya a father a good man according to many a man nonetheless yeah and we celebrate his achievements we look at his work hoping that solid jamas will be found to carry his work forward and what he stood for mm. and i personally forgive him for anything i might hold against him mm. as a person or as a leader and i wish his family peace and grace and comfort mm. and help that that legacy which he had started to build and that house which he had started to build in the village that there'll be grace by the grace of god to complete it mm. and that his work will not be left mm uncompleted unremembered unappreciated we as solid jamas recognize that jacob bolanya was a solid jama yeah one way or the other yeah and that's why we do this compelled by love for god and our country blessings blessings guys bye bye until another time we'll see you.